James Randi, the founder of PSYCOP, the Committee for the Scientific Investigation of Claims of the Paranormal, has a standing offer of $10,000 to anyone who can prove their psychic ability. But psychics like Carol Everett of Credit in England laugh at the suggestion that their powers of ESP can be proven through traditional scientific methods. As correspondent Carla Wohl learned on a recent trip to England, Carol Everett's psychic gift defies all conventional explanations. When I first started having experiences that I now realize now were unusual, I was about seven. I sort of used to have this strange sensation and then I'd feel like I was going down this tunnel. And um, at the bottom of the tunnel, there was always, you know, a light, really, really bright. And there was all these faces and they were all friendly, you know, and they were really a nice feeling. <laughs> You stand still. You come In so many ways, Carol Everett typifies the earthy English country gentlewoman, but her psychic gift will forever set her apart. Why do you think you have this ability? Why you? Why not? <laughs> do you know, I mean, I long ago got rid of my ego <laughs> because your abilities and the information that you get is only as good as what you receive. It's nothing to do with you. And when you realize that, and you realize that it can go, it keeps you down. You know, it keeps your feet on the ground. With her feet on the ground and her head in the clouds, Carol has developed a sterling reputation as a psychic detective helping to solve several difficult cases. But it's her work as a psychic diagnostician and healer that's earned Carol international celebrity. I've always said that when I work, I cut off the left-hand side of my brain, my thinking brain. I can't do it if I think. You, you say you shut off half of your brain. How do you do that? Well, I slow down my breathing, slow everything down, and then the pictures come. It's like watching the telly. Every day, Carol receives clients in her home office, charging pounds per half-hour session. She specializes in life readings and psychic healing, especially the healing of growths and tumors. I don't think I'll bother with this side, with the right-hand side. I did that last time, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, well, I think I'll go to this side, all right? See what, um, see if anything comes up different there. What does it feel like when, when, um, Carol is trying to, she was trying to heal? one of your ovaries today. What does that feel like to you? Sometimes it's very, very cold, but other times I've had it when it's hot. Once, only once, it was really so bad. It was like someone pricking me with a knife. And is there any feeling tomorrow? Do you know you've been here the following day? Be very tender in the area. Sometimes when Carol performs a healing, she takes on her client's pain. In fact, I was getting a little bit worried about it at one time because I thought I might decombust one day, taking on all these, you know, like conditions. Sometimes I, it's like as if they say, well, I, you know, it's going now. And I think, yeah, and I know where it's going. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and they, they say, oh, I feel a lot better now. And then I maybe have that pain for a couple of days. Unlike many other self-proclaimed healers, Carol Everett willingly submitted to a scientific evaluation at Tokyo Denki University in 1994. Professor Yoshi Omachi has performed clinical testing of psi phenomena for more than 20 years. First, she said she would know what was wrong with a patient at a glance. We wanted to know if she could treat the patient and she said okay. They, um put this what looked like a hairnet on the head and, and wired it all up. They had all these um, loads and loads of machines with my brain, picture of my brain on the screen. They were measuring, you know, how the brain changed and there was no activity in the left-hand side of the brain. This is an alpha wave and this is a beta wave. These were examined when she was diagnosing. At this moment, Carol's right brain became very active. She knew what was wrong instantly. Without Carol present, the same advanced thermograph technique were used to document the presence of a tumor in a young woman. 
When Carol met the woman, she psychically found the same tumor. She pointed out the same part where we found something was wrong by using our equipment. The experiment was successful. Then, in the presence of a documentary film crew, Carol astonished the skeptical university panel by making the woman's tumor disappear before their eyes. Can I show you the picture from the time of the treatment? As she proceeded with the treatment, the color got thinner. Now you can see almost no color. This part was always the same, but this part changed a lot. We don't know why this happens, but it is clear the temperature of this part went down by means of healing. Because we have seen many healers, we can tell pretty much about the ability of the healer by means of scientific data. We don't have an exact measurement, but I know her ability is on a very high level. To have it scientifically tested and see exactly all the things that you felt and the way that you, you know, change yourself really i felt quite you know pleased with it and not only that if i hadn't have um been successful in there i wouldn't have done it anymore anyway not only has carol been successful diagnosing illnesses she's also found problems doctors have missed as was the case for miss britain contender jay hirams what warning did she give you about your health well, I had a reading from her, and um, she'd warned me in during the course of it, it just suddenly came out that I might get a pain in my groin, and that if I did, she was very agitated about it, and she said, I must go and get medical treatment immediately. And did it happen? Yeah, it sure did. What happened? I started getting this niggling pain exactly where she had said I would get it. Right. And it gradually got worse and worse. By that evening, I was bent over double on the floor and I just couldn't move. Doctors prescribed painkillers and bed rest, but Jay took Carol's warning seriously and pushed for further testing. She barely survived after doctors discovered a life-threatening ectopic pregnancy. You said you have been to other people, yeah. other psychics. How does she compare to the other psychics? I think it's probably like comparing a Mini with a Rolls Royce. At his wife's insistence, chronic pain sufferer Ken Wilkinson reluctantly consulted Carol. Now, you're by nature a fairly skeptical person. Very skeptical. But when I got there and sat in front of her, she started to pick up the pains I was suffering from. Carol not only diagnosed a drug allergy that doctors had missed, Ken also believes that she psychically healed his painfully twisted esophagus. It's almost impossible to explain. Must just accept the fact that she has some, some miraculous gift of healing. Do you ever feel almost like God? I mean, because you're telling people about their futures and about their lives. I don't think anyone should sort of like say that or, or play God or anything and I always make it quite clear that I'm not a fortune teller and all I do with people is say if you go that way that'll happen if you go that way that'll happen but it's down to you you know so no I don't I don't think of myself as playing God or anything because I put the responsibility back with that person Carol Everett stresses that her psychic diagnoses are performed with the complete cooperation and support of her patient's regular physician. Psychic treatments are not a substitute for traditional medicine.